This coal carrier is leaking 150 tonnes of heavy fuel oil. Authorities are concerned it will break apart, creating a bigger environmental disaster. This is the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park and any oil is uh, unacceptable. Uh, we are now very uh, worried that we might see further oil discharged from this ship. She's completely damaged on her port side double bottom tank, serious damage. The Chinese Chen Yen Wan ran aground at full speed at Douglas Shoal off the central Queensland coast carrying more than 60,000 tonnes of coal. Maritime Safety Queensland says it shouldn't have been there. The vessel's a long way from where it should have been. It's outside of any recognised shipping channel. The crew waited two hours before alerting the Australian Maritime Safety Authority. The Premier says the matter is being investigated while the clean-up on two oil patches takes place. Planes have begun spraying dispersants in the water. We've probably lost a couple of tonnes, but the majority of the oil, the vast majority of the oil is still on board the ship and that's where we want to keep it. The state government says they're using lessons learnt from an oil spill at Moreton Bay in South East Queensland last year. But conservationists say this latest oil spill could have been avoided. They say the government should have legislated the requirement of more marine pilots, especially with shipping traffic expected to boom under billion dollar gas projects. This sort of lack of monitoring is outrageous in the Great Barrier Reef. This is why we need marine pilots there shepherding these ships through the appropriate course on these reefs. I suspect that this incident will now give even sharper focus to whether or not permanent pilots should be in that area. Central Queensland councils and the SES are on standby in case any of the oil reaches the shore. It could be weeks before authorities clear the mess. Marlena Watt, ABC News, Central Queensland.